Hey everybody, welcome to Country Girl. Um, today I'm going to show you a few of the items that I picked up from the Dollar Tree over the last two or three weeks. Um, due to this virus, I haven't really been to the Dollar Tree very much, um, not like I usually go. And so while I was there, of course, you know, I'm going to look at stuff. Um, so I did pick up a few things, but um, not a whole lot. Also, I really don't feel like that my Dollar Trees in my area have been really having a lot of really good stuff here lately. So that also has limited me from purchasing things as well. But I just want to let y'all know it has been a long time since I've been on here. I think my last video that I put out was about a month ago. But I've just been using this time to um, get a lot of things done that I need to do around my house. Also to spend time with my family and just take a break. I've been doing YouTube for about two and a half years now and I do work full time and doing all that it's just really hard and I do have a lot on my plate. So um, it's just been really nice to take a little bit of time off and get some things done that I wanted to do and maybe not have quite as much stress on me. I do enjoy doing YouTube videos but um, when I'm working and trying to juggle so many things at once it does um, add a lot of pressure on to me. So anyway, with that being said, I uh, just want to let y'all know um, that I'm still here <laughs> and um, show you what I have picked up. Like I said, it's not much, you know, just a few miscellaneous items. Hopefully once everything gets back to normal, um, you know, Dollar Tree will be putting out really nice things and um, I have a whole lot more stuff that I can show you. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started and just show you the few items that I have. Um, like I said, nothing major. Um, my mother really likes the um, cheddar biscuits. We have a restaurant here called Red Lobster. And I'm not really sure um, if they're a nationwide um, restaurant or not. But one of the things that they're quite known for is their cheddar uh, cheese biscuits. And they are just so delicious. Um, they have garlic in them also. And... Um, but anyway, they have, um, Walmart carries the actual Red Lobster Cheddar Biscuits, but the Dollar Tree has their version of them as well. They used to come in like a little bag, um, but they've just recently started putting them in this box because I was looking for them. At first, I didn't think they had them, but then I found them in this box. Um, packaging is really pretty, and um, you only get four biscuits in here for a dollar, so I ended up buying two of these because um, whenever we fix these, we have to have at least two a piece. Um, you might can get a better deal getting them at Walmart, but um, you know, for convenience, I just picked them up at the Dollar Tree. But these are very good, and if these are the same ones that they had before, um, to me, they taste just like the ones that you can buy at Walmart in the box. So I got those. And then uh, something else I saw that was really cute. Um, I, I've not seen anything like this before. Uh, the packaging itself is just what got me. I could not resist getting it. It's called Egg White Bedtime Sleeping Mask. And it looks like little eggs here. And I'm going to take it out just so I can kind of see more about it. But you get two in here. And when you open it up, it actually looks like it's got little egg yolks in it. I mean, it's absolutely adorable. And then this here is like little spoons, I guess. According to the instructions, you are supposed to, um, it has a spatula with it. It says mix both cream and gel into fully combined. You apply a thin layer to clean face and neck. You wait 20 minutes until fully absorbed. Leave on overnight. And then it says upon awakening, rinse off with lukewarm water. So anyway like i said it was just the packaging and the way these little eggs look the texture on them actually looks like the texture of a real egg so they're just so cute um i think i guess you get four of them even though together it looks like a whole egg um you know they are separate so i guess it's like four applications yeah it says four facial treatments so anyway i thought that was really cute so i did get that me and my girls will do a spa thing one night or something and, and use that and then um, something that I found in their crafter square that I thought was really interesting I have not seen before this is a pencil and brush organizer and I usually just kind of like throw my pencils and brushes into a glass jar or a soup can or something like that but I thought well maybe this might you know be a little bit better to do because sometimes I do have a hard time getting them in and out and you can see on the back how the holes are. So the holes are a pretty decent size. 
um, you know, for your brushes and pencils and things like that. Not sure how sturdy this is, but for a dollar, I felt like, you know, this was definitely worth trying out. Um, so anyway, I did pick that up. One of the things I like about it too, if you look on here on the bottom, it also has the indentions in here. So when you put your pencils and stuff in there, they're not going to slide around and move and, you know, fall out. So I got that. And then I picked up, they had some scissors out that was new. Now I'm always getting scissors there because, you know, we always lose them. But I've not seen any like this before. This is um, by Jot. And this is like full-size scissors. Now, I've seen smaller scissors that has little designs and stuff on them for kids. But I've not ever seen like the big scissors for, you know, like adults. And so, I just picked up the yellow ones because I just thought that was a happy little color. But they had a bunch of different designs. I think one of them had was pink with had really pretty flowers or something on there. So, I did get these. And I really love these scissors. They're made really well. They sell two different kinds. One of them is a little bit more flimsy than the other. This one, if you get one that kind of has a darker color on the inside and it's rubber, these are the best ones that to get anyway. So, I was really excited to find that. And then something else I found, um, my daughters, ever since they were little girls, I have always, when they were, you know, after their bath or whatever, I would always put hair oil in their hair just because I just feel like hair goes through so much damage and with them having really long hair and everything and it getting pulled up in ponytails and breaking off that um, it would just kind of help to keep that down. So whenever, you know, we would get out of the bathtub or whatever, I would just put like a dime size in my hand, rub my hands together and just put it on the ends of their hair. I wouldn't do it near the scalp, but I would do it toward the ends. And um, so when I was in there, I saw by L'Oreal, they have this um, sunflower oil for your hair. And so I ended up picking up two bottles because I'm not sure when I'm going to see these again. Sometimes when they put stuff out, you get them for a little bit and then they never come back. So anyway, I did get two bottles of these and the smell is really, it smells really good. So Caitlin actually put it on her hair and, um, you know, it worked just as good as some of the other ones that we have used in the past. So I did get those and I cannot remember if I showed y'all. I don't think I did. I think I've bought this since the last time I done a haul. But I just got some new um, washi tape. And this one has the little llamas on it. I just thought that was really cute. And I hardly ever use washi tape. I buy it because I think it's cute. I've got a whole bunch of it and I just don't ever use it. I need to start using the stuff that I purchased. It's terrible. Um, something else I picked up. I did get a graduation card. Now, my daughters are not ready to graduate from high school yet, but I just love this card so much. I just thought, you know what, I'm going to get it and hold it back. If I find one I like better, I'll just replace it. But if I don't, I'm going to use this one because it is absolutely gorgeous. I really like how, I mean, the colors are just really girly, very pretty. Um, the silver on here really shines. And, you know, it just says best wishes on your graduation. And then on the inside, it says, May today's dreams be tomorrow's dreams come true. May all you've learned give you confidence to be all you can be. Congratulations. I mean, nothing major, but for some reason, it just really got me. And so I just bought it. And then in the Crafter Square, I also um, bought this glue and residue eraser. Now, these are really good to have. If anybody deals with glue or glue sticks or anything like that, and you get glue on your paper and or you want to pick up a picture that you put down and move it to something else and you're trying to get that glue off it, the, having something like this to rub over it will take that right off and you won't tear up your paper or anything so i did pick up one of these and it's just like a little rubber block the dollar tree has put out these really pretty um, glass little jars and they had another color that was supposed to be like a seafoam green I have not seen them at my Dollar Trees. I think I was a little bit late in getting these. They have had these out for quite a while. And when I went to my Dollar Tree, this was all they had left. Um, but I just thought they were really beautiful. And I just really like how the, um, the cut and everything is in them. And I thought this would be pretty to put like bath salts or something like that in and put next to your bathtub. Also, um, I really like the, um, you know, the shell that they have up here. They have a, had the other one that they had was a starfish 
Um, and they did have the starfish on one of these colors, but again, I did not see the seafoam green. I wish I did. I would have loved to have gotten them. But this would be nice gifts too. You could get this and fill this up with something, stick it down in the basket or something for somebody for a gift or a present. And something else that I picked up, um, I got this probably about a month ago, but I have seen them recently. Um, this is the Salt Range Himalayan Pink Salt. It's a bath salt. And what I really like about this is the packaging on it. I mean, it is so adorable. It looks just like this is in a mason jar. And I just thought this would be really nice. Um, I'm always gift-minded. I don't know why, but every time I see stuff, my thoughts go to, oh my gosh, this would look so good in a gift basket. It's just my thing. I don't know. But um, I guess, like I said, the packaging was just so cute. I just could not resist getting it. But... Um, I don't even really want to open it right now because I was going to say I would open it and smell it. It looks like that when you cut, you're going to have to cut the top of it off and open it. thought that you could like go in through the top. I wish they would have done that so that you could have opened it up here and then you wouldn't have had to, um, to cut it. But I think you've got to cut this part off and then you can open it and it, it does seal. But the seal is right here. So, unfortunately, once you open this, you won't be able to, you know, you can seal it back up, but your lid pretty much is going to be shot. But it will make good for a presentation in a, in a gift or something if you wanted to do that. And they also have the Salt Range Himalayan Pink Salt Lip Balm. And you get two in there for a dollar, so I I just love this packaging. I mean, this definitely, this, this does not look like something that you would get at the Dollar Tree. And it says cherry and shea butter. So I am going to open up one of these. I'm always using lip balms. Of course, my favorite is Birch Beeswax. And I don't think that's ever going to come to the Dollar Tree. Um, but I do use a lip balm underneath my um, lipstick and stuff like that. It just keeps your, makes your lipstick go on a lot better. And it prevents you from having that cakey look, you know, or cracked look of your lipstick. But anyway, it just looks like a little chapstick tube. The smell is really subtle. Okay, so I'm nice. It's not, um, it's not really thick. I don't know. It's okay, I reckon. Not sure what the Himalayan salt does. Um, but anyway. Anything you can do to moisturize your lips is probably going to be good for you. So, anyway, I did get two of those. So, I think that is all that I have got for today. So, anyway, I've missed y'all. I've missed your comments. I've missed, you know, commenting on your comments, reading your comments. I hope everyone has been safe. Um, I know that there's probably been people or there, there is people that have known someone or knows of someone who may have con contracted this coronavirus um, and you know if you do or if you've lost a loved one through this I just want to let you know that I'm very very sorry my heart goes out to you this is such a tragic time I know that people are scared um, but you know it's just really sad for all those that are actually going through it and have contracted it and are suffering with it so um, you know just do whatever you can to stay safe and um, you know, y'all are all in my prayers. Again, I miss y'all, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.